for, for joining. Um, we've yeah, just enough time. To, yeah, we've just enough time to do a live demo. It looks like so soon has been like oh, seriously coding in the background and getting this live. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got into one mistake. Try um, just for this. Go to playground. Okay. Let's see, yeah, this should work. Uh, go to new chat. New chat. I'm just gonna uh, go to just Gamake AI. It's Gamake AI. This is like the pre. Okay. So let's just do a little tester. This is actually because we're doing it still in debug mode, so we're gonna see a lot of stuff. Let me just do this and say, what's the price of ETH currently? And you can watch it go through its little things. This, since it doesn't have any skills currently, uh, it's gonna have to go through a little little tangent. So you can actually watch it go through its thought process. Okay, so it's not storing this to memory. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Get ETH price, coin gecko, USD. So it didn't, it didn't have the skill to do that itself. So it coded that on the fly. Because um, in the current thing that we're doing right now, we're doing a lot of debugging for the code first part. So you're going to see a lot more, um, uh, what is it, uh, output than usual. So as you see right now, it's still going through the little session. So you're watching the whole thought process before what it does to go through. But I think that's a just even that is a good demo of the skill set. Oh. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah. If people oh, can't yeah, read this on screen, one of the things it's saying is that uh, aboard the Starship Gamak, it uh, always applies not with the three laws of robotics, um, but with the principles of the 48 laws of power to engage in co casual conversations while expressing insightful analytics. Uh, that's so cool. That's a, little, that's a little Easter egg. <laughs> but when you're in this mode, you get to see the, because uh, that's like the prompt uh, that goes through before it starts giving it out. But you see it's still working, but it, it has all, with the agent flows, they have all this, this new check and balance system where it's like, okay, do I add this to memory? Do I go through this? Do I go through that? And you start to watch these flows and you're like, okay, this is, this is the way LLMs are made to interact with each other. This is the way that they're supposed to deal. Because a lot of times you can have, what's the problem? Halluc the, uh, the hallucinization problem is less prevalent when you have other agents check the work. Yeah, that was, that's one of the things that really struck me about, uh, about just using it here so far is like, OpenAI is like super buggy, right? Like people have posted all the arithmetic issues, but even just like it will write some code um, to execute something like yours just did, except the code won't work. So have you like seen that loop where it'll like write some code and be like, I'm sorry, looks like I got an error. Let's try again. And they'll rewrite it and it won't work. And they'll rewrite it and be like, I'm sorry, I seem to be having technical issues. And it takes a long time to get through that. And you're just like, okay, maybe I should have just done this myself. I think that was a scarier moment for me. When I saw it go through three loops and fix it, that was what I was like, oh, wait a minute. That's what actually made me think that I was like, okay, this is viable. Because I know eventually, because even I, I think if we use back in the day when you would have used GPT 3.5, it would have not been able to hit that API call first shot, no problems. It wouldn't have been able to do that. Now, you increase the intelligence, you load this up with chat GPT-5. Because I, I, I actually, I was surprised with GP2, uh, GPT-O, uh, the Omni, you mm -hmm. know, they usually have to go through the coding drills or whatever. And I'm used to seeing the LLMs get spanked probably like by, on a medium Python problem. Uh, when they were doing this, when they were going through O, it went all the way up to advanced. And I was waiting, I was like, okay, it didn't do it. But I was like, Okay, five would have smashed this. Five wouldn't have had any problems with this because they're calling four dumb. So I see something. I, I could actually see something with the code first agent. We it could be good enough that we you won't actually have to write that many skills. Because that API call was kind of uh, but let's say we get it going to well, okay, just give me a simple liquidation script, give me a simple uh TWAC. You don't even have to make those skills. They can come in skills. But that's why I see the power of everything really going. Hmm. Defi advisor. 
Yeah, first of all, I apologize. I really wanted to be uh, on time for this one. But I guess I just got uh, to sleep uh, too late uh, yesterday morning. Uh, either way, I apologize, guys. But I'm sure that uh, you had a lot of fun here with uh, the boss himself. I do want to ask something that I was curious uh, ever since I heard about it. Uh, because uh, like, I was kind of sure when I uh, saw the app that it uh, will be on some kind of a layer 2 or something. And when I saw it on mainnet, I was kind of wondering, like, uh, what are, uh, like, why is that, is that actually? What are the benefits that uh, you guys are getting when, like, why uh, probably, like, strategically you have decided uh, to do it on uh, mainnet? Or is it just, like, a first step? Like, we're curious about oh. that. Oh no, we're, we're our routers work on mainnet, AVAX, um, and uh, oh, wow. uh, uh, just mainnet because you know mainnet's mainnet, and it's actually kind of cool right now because it's cheap. Yeah, right now I know it's going to eventually get high. <laughs> yeah, totally. oh, yeah also, uh, <laughs> most of the liquidity is on uh, mainnet. That's for sure. Like. Uh... Most of the liquidity and opportunities uh, by far are on mainnet, that's for sure. But sometimes I think that we did say, we did uh, start seeing like, uh, you know, uh, at least some of the capital like flowing into other uh, places as well. And ARB is for sure a good place uh, to see. Are you guys uh, planning on expanding uh, even beyond uh, that? Oh, yeah. No, we want, we want to uh, be able to capture economic activity on all of the things, even... Um, because that's where, like, right now we're integrating Gbot into Solana. Um, that'll be oh, wow. live this week. Uh, so we'll have sniper wow. capabilities, medium. What is what is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, what do you call them? Okay, have, let, me, let me just slow myself down. So I, <laughs> I was talking too fast. Okay, you'll have you'll be able to snipe. You'll be able to make limit orders, uh, fastest buys and sales. We also going to have a referral program. Uh, Thirty percent of all fees that come in paid and denominated by soul with two downlines. But on top of that, because we built the bot over there, we also have access to our router. And that allows us uh, to add Gbot. Once we put the um, once we put uh, the bot over there, we start leveraging the tech to make the routers. Then we just incorporate it into Gbot. And then that's another chain. So we go bot, then Gbot, then that. Gbot then data and just kind of like cycle through our tech. That's just actually cool. In... Oh, you see Go it ahead. going through like his thoughts is crazy, right? You see? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, it's also like reminds me of like when I, um uh early on they used to have like more of a like uh, a feature where it could browse the web and it was so interesting to see the websites that would try and browse because sometimes it like start checking sports scores for some re reason it's like oh i must have asked a really boring question so it's using its uh, <laughs> quota to uh, <laughs> uh at least it wasn't like looking at like you know how to like destroy all humans or something but uh justin i know you have to bounce in just a couple of minutes so i want to give you a chance to shout out kind of any last thoughts um they're like rolling through your head uh honestly we have to have you guys back because this has been like such a cool conversation we could have gone for like hours um but yeah like go ahead and give us uh your kind of like wrap-up thoughts here before you have to bounce yeah i mean i think i think that we're very I don't want I don't want to use that cliche term where we know we're early, but I mean it's it's gonna take it's gonna take time for this 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 bot adoption. And you know, if you're a part of this space now, I would just say look for certain look for certain use cases, look for certain use cases within your particular your particular discipline, if you will. You know, where, you know, yes, yes, finance is going to lead, you know, the whole Web3 space and blockchain space and crypto space. But 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 you're 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 also going to have to have tools for other industries moving forward. Right. So so start thinking about that. And then that way you can start bringing and bringing the tools to the gold rush. Right. Bringing the shovels to the gold rush. That's what I always say. You know, that's where you're going to. That's where you're going to kind of get get that 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 generational wealth that people always, always, always look for, right? It's not gonna, it's not gonna be in meme coins. It's gonna be developing these solutions, you know, for the people, for the people that that, that comes 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 into this space. So, you know, yeah, again, start start trying to think of to start trying trying to think, develop use cases, start developing, start networking with people where you start developing solutions. And then that's where that's where we're going. That's how we're gonna get how we're gonna get ahead. That's all I gotta say. Excellent. And uh, where should people find you? 
Uh, you can check me out. Check me out on LinkedIn. Um, just Justin Goldston. Uh, you can also you can also find me on PhD uh, on Twitter or on X PhD underscore Justin. Excellent. So um, no hard feelings. If you got to drop uh, a soon, uh, let's give you any shot, chance to shout out anything that you, you'd like to shout out or if you can keep the conversation going, if you like. All right. Um, I probably need to get back to working if he's getting there going for a second. Um, but I'd like to give a shout out to the whole Gamak community. Um, definitely shout out to the llamas. Uh, just appreciate everything that we're doing. I want everybody to check out what the llamas are doing. Uh, we got uh, burrito. Um, what else we got? Um, what's the other one that I really like? Rock. We got for Farrakh. We got for Rock. Um, they got, got like a lot of stuff going on over there. Uh, with the are you notion? Hmm? Are you? I'm curious. Are you using Frock as one of your AI uh, agents? Is there no, we're we're, we're, Mac we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna have some some crossover with that there. I'm talking nice. actually the the guy from uh, for for Rock, and then I'm talking to. Um, are you familiar with Burrito? Oh yeah, yeah. We should get yeah, them yeah, on yeah. too. Yeah, I'm gonna do some. I want to do a couple liquidity mining situations where we can implement it with the skill system, so we can start like like putting all these pieces together. I think the skill library does for quick integrations to DeFi protocols that aren't that cumbersome. And um, and just I would like like to thank everybody for coming out and and supporting us and looking at the product. And uh, you can find me at, I think it's at Collage, C-O-T-L-A-G-E, or just, uh, you can just see it soon in my llama if you look for me on Twitter. And, oh yeah, in my mirror, uh, I give out, uh, outside of like just the crypto stuff, I write, do little blog posts about uh, blockchain security. And if anybody wants to get into blockchain security or cybersecurity, you can go there and it'll give you like a good footing on how to go from zero to hero. Amazing. Right on, and and of course you can always catch Leviathan at our Twitter handles, uh, Leviathan underscore News. Uh, we also have a Telegram, uh, as mentioned, not as sophisticated of a bot, but big shout out to everyone who helps us keep that rolling, keeping our twenty four hour, twenty four seven news ticker fresh with the best of headlines. Uh, we got our Squid token, so we'll uh, connect with Asun and Justin and get them some Squid for being on the show. You can earn some Squid for powering our bot. Uh, check our Squid Cave for more information on that. Uh, we will continue to catch you. Discord, Telegram. Uh, you can mint this uh, episode on uh, pods.media. Uh, we're everywhere you want to be. Thank you all for joining us. This has been another classic llama party for the ages. We'll catch you all next time.